Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and give you a sneak peek into things to come. Looking for top five entertainment that'll keep you glued to your screen? Then park it right here and stick around to the end. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's another glorious day in the bay, and we are looking in on our consular district, the big consular district that's out in front of us. And of course, right in the foreground is the subject of today's build. That is going to be the area of the consular district, our fifth and final area, known as Vesper Beach. Yeah, and it's a really nice big parcel of land here. And the idea in here is that I want to put in a lot more residential. We've got still a lot of demand for residential in the city. And I'd like to start with, you know, kind of coming down here. And this is the like the little appendix, if you will, of our Leggett's Curve build that we did way back in episode one. I think I want to cut this little road off and repurpose that into a through road that might maybe ultimately connects back over here. And then I want to drop in some, you know, some larger assets maybe down in here drop in some beautiful uh, you know, beachfront homes along here. And maybe this little lagoon here becomes our beach. I'll, I'll make a little crescent-shaped beach out of that in there. Hop in a little bit of height maybe up in this area here with some medium and maybe even some high-density residential just to frame up the promenade like we said we were going to do. You can see the framing on the left side here is already done with the old northeast. And now we'll come in with Vesper, Vesper Beach on the, on the right side and really uh, kind of Put the finishing touches on the on the consular district all right well this is going to be a lot of fun today and and i hope you guys enjoy this one just threw a ton at you so with all that as a backdrop let's do this ah vesper beach yeah this is going to be an elegant neighborhood it's our fifth and final district of the consular district and we're going to start by just doing a little speed build here we're going to drop in a road network i'll create some connectivity going back over into Leggett's curve and then I'm going to play off of that promenade and just, uh, you know, build kind of a semi grid structure through here with some nice, elegant, gentle curves running through there as well. And some kind of unique fun spaces as well. All right. Well, just sit back and enjoy a little uh, little fast forward here through the time lapse. And we're going to put this road network to bed. See you in a bit. All right, so now we've got our road network in place, and I really like the way that that looks because it, um, you know, it plays off of the the structure, if you will, of the promenade very nicely, but also pays respect to this windy little shoreline that we've got here, and of course our eventual beach down in here, this little alcove down in here where our beach is going to be. So the first thing I wanted to start doing is dropping in a few service buildings, and one of them that I had in mind actually comes from our let's see, police and administration tab. And we're going to go to administration and we're going to grab the city hall because the city hall seems like it should be in a government area. And I thought this little spot down here in this corner here, maybe maybe we orient it this way. Just drop that into there. Yeah, and you can see this nice little plaza down in here. Uh, maybe I'll extend the promenade down into this space here in our beautification time lapse. But that kind of old building here just has a, an old administrative and you know governmental type type feel back in there yeah all right now the next thing i want to do is i want to take a look at let me zoom out just a little bit because i think you guys are going to find this interesting in the communications tab if i go to telecom look at how poor our broadband coverage is in the area it's really just not good we've got lots of red we've got lots of orange some yellow and i think we can improve that now my initial thought was let's grab a telecom tower and throw that in there but i don't think that's going to be good enough so let's grab the server farm and just drop that in you know, probably down in this little nook down here, down along the road. And you can see it instantly improves, radically improves our coverage for uh, for telecom in this space. Now, I'm going to drive down in here. I'd like it to kind of go into this space here. But ideally, let's pull it in a little closer to this down here. So let's move this little green street. And instead come out of, say, I don't know. Let's go here. Let's just come right about there and just drive that across until it intersects there. We can trim this little piece off here and this piece here and just curve right back up into 
this road here. Yeah, that's. I think that's going to be much better. Uh, and then we can drop in that telecom, or that server farm, right into this space here. Does it fit? Yeah, look at that. It just fits in there. Oh yeah, right up against this road here, which I think it'll be. I think it'll be fine. And I could even take this road out now. We'll just kind of come down here, run straight off of here. And now I've got a nice big area down in here that I can fill in as well. And in fact, let's so let's do that right now. Let's grab something else from our police administration tab and let's grab the welfare office. Uh, it seems to me that if you're in a government area, a welfare office makes a lot of sense. And I can set it so it's oriented that way where the uh, parking lot is down along this Rosewood Street here. Nice little, uh, nice little fountains and plazas there. Maybe we can fill in some decorative gardens in there. And then I still have room down in here to do, I'm not sure what, but you know, maybe we'll put some homes down in there. Yeah, because we're going to have a nice beach right in here. Okay, cool. Well, I think we're off to a really good start. So with all of that in place, um, let's take our next piece. And that's going to be a um, small bus station. Small bus station. Now, I was thinking about dropping in right here. But now that I look at things, since we don't know what to do with this space right here, why don't we put it there instead? Let's jump down in here and just take a look. I think if I take a... Let's grab an alleyway? Or no, let's, let's, let's get a... Three lane asymmetrical, three lane asymmetric road. Yeah. And then let's just jump right off of this section right here. Eh, I'll just run this out here for right now for a placeholder. I can take an alley road and run out. Hmm. Well, let's just do it here for right now. Here, let's start over again. And then let's grab that bus station and drop it in there. Uh, leave ourselves one square from the main road and in fact I can come back now and take this guy into here yeah let's do that and then that gives us a little nook down here for development too I'll convert this into just a regular two-lane road one two in fact let's extend it down just a little bit don't want to connect it but now I've got a little pocket to build in I don't know maybe a little office in there or something okay cool so now we've got a bus station in here. I think it's going to be important for us to have that because our closest, you know, mass transits, if you will, are going to be over here in, uh, is it South Pass Isle? We've got a bus station over there. And then you can see where we are here. And then, of course, down here in Planters Park, you've got our rail station here with a little bus, kind of a custom bus station down in this space as well. So we want to make sure we have good connectivity with our mass transit. Although I'll tell you, you know, I'm not getting a lot of automobile traffic in here and that feels pretty good. But as this area continues to build out and densify, that could become an issue. All right, so now I see an opportunity for us to come in here and just bring this road down to here. Again, I don't want to connect it, but I just want to bring it down here as far as we can. And, uh, you know, maybe there's some parking that goes there. I don't know. Now we can turn our attention on building in some residences. And, and one of the things I want to do is down in this space down here, I'd like to put in maybe a corner office, just a low density, uh, low density corner office in here. Let's grab this. And I want to do like a big six by six if I can. So well, you know what I'll have to do is I'll have to come in here with our pathing. We're going to start from here, turn this and this off. Just kind of work our way down around this, this corner here. And then let's get a low density office and do a six by six. One, two, three, four, five by six. Yep. Okay, good. And then I want to put some lower rent housing kind of down into this area here so uh let's do a nice um let's do a nice four by four in there and then we can do actually can we do a four by six let's just see if that works it does nice and let's do a big six by six right in here and then can we do a three by six or let's do a uh well let's not do that let's do this like that. Ooh, yeah. And the reason I want to bring some low rent housing in here is because I want to make sure that we've got, you know, we're continuing to uh, to address that as well throughout the city. Make sure we have lots of affordable homes. And and I think another good place to do that is probably right down in this space here next to the administration administrative office. So let's take a little alley road here. We'll run off of this. Yeah, maybe we can run that all the way back out to here. And then we can probably jump off of that and come right straight into here. And now we've got a nice section here where we can put in some uh, some lower income housing. And I think I'll probably go like a five by five there. 
and I'll take it and do a five by five, but I'm gonna offset it off of the street here. And then I think we can come in here with like a four by four there and do, is it a four by four that'll fit into there? Yeah, just to kind of give it some variation here, but fill in this, this little block here with, um, yeah, with some additional low rent housing. Okay, cool. Now we should turn our attention to this little area down along here. Now, if you remember correctly, when we built out the old Northeast, we wanted to add some height kind of up along the, the frame, if you will, the outside area of the promenade. I want to do the same thing down over here. And I'm going to start in this area right here. And I want to drop in just like a nice little smaller neighborhood where I can do, uh, let's go North American style, high density housing. And I want to drop in maybe down in here, some three by threes. So I want to, I want to sneak off of that, that road by one and go three by three there. And then I'll come down in here and um, let's do a three by three here. Now it's not, I know it's not going to populate because I need to run some roads in there, but that's okay. And then I think I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to offset and come down and go, let's do three by three there. And then we'll come back down in here and we'll go three by three like Let's go here. We'll go three by three there. And then let's do a couple more. And now we can draw the roads into it to help accommodate. So if I do that, we're going to take this road in here and we're just going to bring it out to, hmm, let's do this. We'll, we'll, we'll sneak into there. And I think I want to just kind of come right through there. And then let's um, let's have this kind of sneak in from this side this time. This way, this way. And just kind of creating a, a little funky shaped neighborhood with some three by three, you know, high density residential in this space there. And then what that also will allow us to do is create just a nice little alleyway here. You can see I've got two squares coming off of this. If I come out this direction, two squares and just run straight through there. Now I can drop in some European style mixed use. And I'd like to just kind of create uh, just a nice little alleyway here. In fact, let's go three by three, three by three there. Okay, so we can't, it'll be two by, but that's okay. If I do the same thing on the other side, then I can create just this nice little welcome alley that kind of makes its way through here. There. And now I can bring that alley, extend that through here, maybe even make a little walking path through there. Okay, so now we're adding some, we're gonna add some layers in here, some densification in there. And then uh, right back in here, I think we could probably do some medium density European style um, residential in there. And now we've got a lot bigger area to work with. So let's drop in, hmm, I wanna go right into this corner, maybe a five by five. Yeah, that's nice. And then come down into here with like a little four by four in this. Well, no, let's take it off of one, off one square, go four by four. And again, I'm trying to create little areas for walkability in here. So let's go four by five again, or five by five, I should say, and four by four into this space here. And then I could probably do a nice, can I do a two by five? Well, I can't, but I could, could I do a two by six? Let's see if it'll take it that it does. See, now I've got little walking paths making their way through here as well. Just a lots of little walkability in here and then also adding some height. And again, we're, we're just trying to get this, get this framed up in here. All right, let's move on to our next block, which is here. And this is where we're gonna do, we're gonna start off this block, certainly on this, this half of it, if you will, with some uh, North American medium density homes. We're just gonna go ahead and grab this and run straight off of here, bring this straight down and do the same thing over here. And that way we'll have a buffer between this area and this area. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna put in some medium density stuff here and then some low density here. So let's go medium density in North American style. We're gonna do some bigger blocks in here, maybe a five by and do the same thing here. Two by four, two by four, two by four. Can I do another one? Yes, okay, excellent. So now we've got some additional density making its way through here. This seems like it'd be a good little spot for maybe just a corner shop. 
just a little low density business right in this little notch right here yeah okay now this area here i want to tackle in with some of that european style uh, waterfront low density housing so let's go to european eu waterfront low density housing and i'd like these to be really deep so let's see if i can go three by six i can we'll go three by six coming back the other way yeah okay so let's just do that and that and that oh i like the way uh you had to do that didn't you <laughs> all right so uh let's do this i'm gonna come in here and uh, do that there you go that's fine and then before i put the other one in let's just go ahead and paint in this yeah and then we'll come in here and here and then hopefully when i reestablish this road we should be able to do that without destroying those other homes and it worked good so now you can see i've got these european style waterfront homes that are going to fill into that space yeah okay and this will frame up oh look at that we're definitely adding some height and that's exactly the look i'm going for ah very cool the next blocks i want to tackle are down in this area right in here and i want to continue this kind of elevation if you will down into this space and i'll start by going into let's see european style high density I'm going to come into this corner and put a three by three there. And then I think I'd like to have, uh, let's, let's give ourselves a gap and then just do another three by three. And then I'd like to have a three by three there and then probably another one here. And so if I do this, if I come in with like a little alleyway and just run straight to here, I'm going to turn off this and this. Let's go boom and then back into there. We got to paint this back in now. Okay, yeah. So now I've got a couple of these 3x3 three three European style, I guess they'd be high density buildings in there. And I'm going to need to give myself some parking down in here because now we're really starting to get a lot of activity, you know, with a lot of more residents in here. So let's see if I can find a nice parking. Is it a wide parking lot? Would that work in this space? Wow, that's that's really wide. That that takes up, yeah, that's, that's too much. Let's do, um, let's see if a long parking lot going, let's see if I can orient it this way, just right along the street. Yeah, that actually might work really well. Uh, and then I'm going to come back in with this alley road. I think I'll sneak through here like so and then bring that up. Maybe have it connect into there. Yeah, yeah we can drop a little park there. And then uh, before I get carried away, the other thing I want to do is I want to do a European style row down along here. So if I give myself a one cell you know, kind of a barrier and then just run this right down along here, boom that'll start to fill in really nicely and let's grab some uh let's see do i want to do north american or media european maybe we're gonna do european style medium density that starts to kind of fill in here now i don't know if i can do four by fours i don't want it to be right up against that row there so maybe what i'll need to do is i'll need to come back in yeah i do like the four by four look though uh and, and then just drop in another one in this corner here. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. So let's do this. Let's come back in here and just peel this row back here. And of course, we'll have to rebuild all these. Yeah, and then they'll be three deep. And then we can have a little walking back in behind these. Yeah. Well, that'll be really nice. And uh, let's see here. I think we can continue this four by four down into here or maybe yeah that's that's probably good and then can i wrap this uh european style row home let's put this one in here fill that one in fill this one in maybe i'll just drop in some north american row kind of along the um just kind of along this mulberry street here there like that so it'll just kind of create a little backyard garden in here and i think we're going to be just fine with that Two different styles a row very cool now we can come back into this space here and continue on with some of this uh was it european style waterfront housing down in there three by six yeah three by six oh this is gonna be a disaster <laughs> yeah they usually are okay so now what i need to do is pause the game 
Ah, uh, the tricks that we learn along the way. Now we can start the game again. Okay, and then let's go here with the three by six and we'll do this one. There we go, there we go. And now we're getting that filled in there nicely. It's kind of a, a an odd shaped little space down in here and maybe what we do is come down in here with some row and drop into that curve there. I, I'm not sure just yet, but we'll figure that out. Okay, cool. All right, um, there is, uh, actually I've got another idea for that space. Uh, let's do this. Let's let's grab a, uh, a one of our unique pieces and we'll grab the Extreme Athletes Villa. Let's see if that fits into this. Oh, it, it might. Well, maybe I'll have to take this one out. Maybe I'll just have to go ahead and claim that one for the Extreme Athlete. There, <laughs> all right. And that's one of our unique pieces and the Extreme Athletes Villa gives everybody a plus two well-being within 500 meters. So what it'll allow us to do is oh, we can extend this, this park into here and so forth and not have to worry about breaking up our road, but everybody in the area is going to feel a little bit better. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. That's really stepping up there and framing up the government building nicely. Okay, but anyhow, focus. Back to our Extreme Athletes Villa. This is a, that plus two well-being within 500 meters, and we're still going to have a lot of residential that makes its way throughout here. So I think this is going to be a nice place for that. It's going to give a good bonus as it makes its way all throughout the district. Ah, very cool. Now I want to jump all the way back down into this corner down over here. And I've got that big server farm. Uh, I wanted to put more residential in here, but now that I'm thinking about it, I might want to put some office in that space just to kind of, I don't know, give it a little bit of a, a buffer, if you will, from, um, you know, from the hustle and bustle of the server farm. So let's do this. Let's come in with a regular road. I want to leave myself, yeah, probably six deep across there. Yeah, let's do this. Just run you right straight up into there and then right straight up into there. And what that'll do for us, if I do this right, is um, allow us to come in here with some office, low density, and bring in some six by sixes. There, okay, so there we've got some office here, and that'll be a nice little kind of gentle buffer between that and the residential. And in the space right here, I wanna drop in some North American style uh, medium density. So if I go to NA medium and put in a big, I don't know, can we do a six by six in there? Ooh, yeah. Can we do another one here? Ooh, we can. Those will be big. That And that's fine. That's fine. All right. So then now across the street, let's drop in some North American style row homes. And if I come in here and go, let's do four deep. If I do that, one, two, three, four. And then I come back down into here and just drop in uh, just a little, little piece of pathway there, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I can come in with more row homes right down along here. Well, yeah, one, two, three, four, let's, let's just drive it all the way down the rest of this block. Yeah. And in fact, hmm, let's just take this out and see what, see what we get for build squares. Maybe what I'll do is I'll come in here and go, uh huh. Take you out of there. Let's see what I get. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. And now you've got some densification that's happening in this little odd shaped block down in here. And I think it'll be a, a good little way to you know introduce, maybe just leave that as it is. Maybe a little walking park through there that makes its way through. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's jump into this space here. Now in this little area, I think what we can do is, since we've got some funkiness going on here, let's start off with, uh, let's start off by taking a path and running right straight down along here, just to kind of uh, measure some things up here. I could drop in just a little bit of European style row along this curve, because I think that'll be pretty elegant. So let's go here, here, and here, drop in a two, And now I've got the opportunity to come in here with those little alley roads and I'll make a little bitty windy kind of area back in here. Uh, let's go. We'll come out a little bit because I think I can drop in some parking there. Bring this out to say here and then back in, connect. And a small parking lot fit in there. Let's just take a look. It can, that's excellent. And then now I can come in with some European style waterfront homes. And those don't have to be real big. 
I think I'd like them to be, can we go three by five? Yeah, okay, you can see what we're doing here. We're just kind of building up some, I don't know, some continuity and, and giving ourselves a little space for, for work. Let's do three by five there, and then one more right next door. And then now I have the ability to take an alleyway, just run straight off of here and cut all the way through. And I can do a couple of larger ones in here. And can I do a four by four right in there? Okay, so now we've got a variety of different homes that are tucking themselves back, themselves back in there. Let's go back for some more European style row, kind of right down along here, and then go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's gonna be just super sharp uh, when it all fills in like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And then now we can focus our attention in down here along the uh, along the shoreline um, and build in some more of those European waterfront larger homes. So if I do that, if I can come in with a three by six, a three by six. Yeah, those will fill in really nicely down along that shoreline. It'll be kind of reminiscent of what's got, you know, we've got going on over here in the old Northeast. So you have this elegant, elegant neighborhood that's making their way through there. Yeah, that's going to be super cool. All right. Now let's turn our attention down into this space right down. Let's do it right here. So the next piece I want to drop in is going to be into this space right here. And I, I think I really want to take in this, uh, this little pedestrian road here. And I want to extend out from it and just run just a little bit of a road out to, let's call it there. Uh, and then I want to come out maybe in this direction. I don't know. Maybe it's one square and then this direction one square. And from there, I want to jump into our tab. That's our signature buildings. And I want to go to the mixed residential signature buildings, and grab the iron press building. I just thought this would be a really cool looking building because it has this old stately look, almost like it looks like a hotel that would be sitting out down here uh, along the waterfront with the big bronze statue looking across the downtown. I think that'd be really kind of cool. You know, neat, neat place to stay. And then uh, let's just come out here, 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 and make sure we've got that building wrapped up. Yeah, like so. Uh, and then um, we can make some beautiful gardens in this spot, spot here just to add some additional elegance here. You know, now that I'm looking at it, do we want to reorient that building? I mean, it's cool if you're coming down this little walkway here and then that's the building you're going into. It might be kind of cool looking out towards the city as well. Well, we'll leave it as it is. Nah, we're going to change it. We're changing it. There you go. And now you can see that from the waterfront. Ooh, that's going to be really cool. Wow, I love this. Oh, gosh, I just love the way this is filling up. Okay, cool. And now we've got those in place. Let's jump back all the way down over here. And I got to put in a few other services here. I think I want to take... Uh, from our police tab here at our city police station and drop that right down into here. And then I think we want to drop in some fire services down right along this road here. Let's see, how does that look? Yeah, and I think it fits in well with these kind of low rent buildings here. Okay, and now we've got this little services area down in here with a server farm. These homes are starting to fill in. Very cool. Okay, so let's jump down in here. Let's start tackling our beach. Uh, I want to grab a softened terrain tool and come in here and uh, let's just start from here. Work our way all the way up along into here. Uh, let's take the sidewalk out of here for starters. And then we're going to grab our vegetation and we're going to turn that off. We're just going to start clearing out some of these trees. Yeah, wow, that's hard to believe this is all from episode one way way back a year ago uh let's just jump back in here now and, and soften this out a little bit yeah and then now we can take this little sidewalk here click into that turn on our little curvy curvy bring it up into here and like so yeah okay that's nice and then let's grab our little surface painter and start putting some sand in There, there you go. And now there's a big sandy beach here and I can come back in and 
fill in with some some trees and plants and so forth but i'd like to have let's see if i can make a path that walks its way through here let's just see will it yeah it'll allow me to do that so hopefully we can get some pedestrians walking in through the beach area here yeah I like that and then i can come in here and let's just see if i've got some some good beach decor uh let's go to props i think there's um residential props let's see oh yeah look at this little beach chair here oh look at that whoops yeah see you got these little these little chase lounges here maybe I'll, I'll throw a couple there let's this one here little sun chairs and then there's uh there's some umbrellas i thought if i recall yeah look at that little sun umbrella Ooh, nice nice let's see are there any other cool things we could put down in here hmm. i don't know we'll we'll have to noodle around with that when we get into the uh into the beautification time lapse, but I think that's cool. Look at this. Oh, I'll set up a series of beach chairs. One, two, three, four. And then I can drop in maybe a pair of umbrellas, one on this side and one on this side. Yeah, when well, you get the idea. We'll start we'll start filling this in with some some beach activity in here. Yeah. And then come back in with some trees and plantings and so forth. Ah, yeah, this will be a really kind of a nice little spot. Okay, cool. All right, what else do we have left to do? Oh, yeah, we can continue. I think we can continue down along the shore here with some more of our European-style waterfront housing. Let's go. Can I do a 4x4? Four four? No, but that's okay. We'll just make smaller, you know, smaller little properties that kind of make their way down along here. When That's probably about as far along that edge as we want to go. Uh, and then, yeah, I think down in here... We can, um, hmm, let's grab a little pathway here. Let's kind of wind our way down into here. Like that. And then I'll put in some smaller little waterfront homes down in here. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Well, you can see this is really starting to fill in nicely. And uh, I think this feels like a really good spot for us to jump in and do our beautification time lapse. Yeah. See, this was the, the valley look I was going for as I started explaining it, oh, maybe a handful of episodes ago. really like this. Um, I think it's going to be a beautiful, elegant area of town. And uh, wow, yeah, it should be pretty nice. But anyhow, let's, um, let's do this. Let's jump in and start that beautification time lapse. Uh, why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll catch you here afterwards. We can recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back, and I give you the all-new Vesper Beach. Yeah, this was our fifth and final segment of our Consular District build, and I just love the way this thing turned out. Ah, it's just so cool. It's a big residential area that just adds a lot of character and definition to this space down in here, and it's something I've been wanting to build out for a long, long time. All right, well, before we jump into the uh, Vesper Beach area, I want to jump back across the bay here to downtown because this is our observation tower, and you can see... One of the things that we tried to do is we wanted to set up our promenade as the centerpiece, or if you will, the focal alley that looks down to the government building here. Of course, we've got our bronze statue that's hanging out right in the middle in breathtaking World Park. And then I flanked up that promenade with some height on the east side over here in the old northeast. And then, of course, now on the west side over here in Vesper Beach. So that, that optic really turned out great. I think it's just exactly what we were going for. All right, let's jump on in. I want to start down here in this corner, and I've, I'm going to give you guys the Vesper Shoals Inn, which is this stately old historic inn and spa retreat that's right out here on the very end of the point. And you can see, just looking at the gardens here, just a nice place to kind of relax and hang out with spectacular views of downtown Pangasus Bay. You can see over to our sports complex out here and uh, you know the whole west edge area of, of Pangasus Bay. Great easy access to our breathtaking world park here as well. And it just serves as a nice relaxing old inn, if you will, right out here at the end of the point. Great tourist destination. Now, making our way in, we've got some of these European style waterfront homes that are down in this area here. And I thought this is just gonna add another stately touch of elegance in this space here where uh, you've got this, um, you know, some, some really high-end real estate that services out this community. Just lovely in this area. We're going to transition up, if you will, into this North American medium density housing into here. And um, this just added that first step, if you will, of height. Just that first layer to kind of bring your eye upwards a little bit. And then you'll notice this, this path down here that, that makes its way down through the promenade and all the way over to the northeast. At the end of that path, the anchor of that path, is our Extreme Athletes Villa. This is our second uh, of our signature buildings that we put in here. And I added some privacy bushes and trees down along here, envisioning that the Extreme Athlete would want to have a little bit bigger yard, a little bit more space to spread out. And, uh, you know, this gives that, that person some excellent opportunities to enjoy some privacy and also have this great view over the tops of these other homes looking into downtown Pangasus Bay. Just a great place to, to, to live. Making our way down into this space here, we've got now some medium density European style homes in this area. And you can see I put pathing all the way down in through here. I wanted to make sure that these buildings were kind of a little offset so that you've got the density, the natural density, but it doesn't look jam packed. You know, it's still it's still got a little bit of airiness about it, a little bit of room to breathe and a little bit of room to uh, just kind of relax and enjoy some space in here. Now tucked down in here, I love this little alley down here. You can see these are European style mixed use buildings and they're leveling up and they just add a, again, another a touch of flair and style in this space. But look at all these little neighborhood shops that are making their way down along here. Just, uh, I, th I think this is a great little shopping alley, if you will, for all the residents in all the nearby you know, medium and high density towers. And that, that layout there is reflected on the other side here as it just kind of makes this, this little square complete. So again, more shops down here, more residences up on top. All right, now speaking of up top, we've got some North American high density buildings that are sitting up in here. And I envision this is a big condo complex. And I think that this is a great place to have a condominium because you've got 360 views all around the bay. If you're facing this direction, which is north, you can have spectacular views of downtown Pangasus Bay. If you're looking to the west, you can see all of our um, Leggett's Curve area and then, of course, all the way out to Ocean's Gate and points beyond out there. If you're looking to the south, you can see un un uninterrupted views of the ocean out there, which are just uh, amazing. And then, of course, if you're looking east, you can see into Island View Park. And of course, you've got the South Pass Isle and the Bay Pass Tunnel with the cruise ships coming and going into our immigration district back over here. Okay, so let's jump back down in here now. We talked about extending that promenade down into this area, and I think we've done a good job of doing that. We added in our little bus station here, which is shuttling passengers to and from the Planners Park Rail District. And then down into this area here, I added some low income housing or low rent housing 
because I thought it would be more applicable to a space that's this busy thoroughfare coming through here with cars, maybe a little less expensive real estate, but added the touch of elegance of continuing on that, that same texturing, if you will, that we had in the promenade. Now we'll continue our journey along here with a city hall tucked in behind it. And I want you to see how that, that city hall building, the architecture is very similar to what we have in the old diet building up on the hill here. So again, it just gives the feel of extending this government complex into this space as well. We've got some additional low rent housing kind of tucked in again along this busy road here. And I think that's just fine. And then we added our server farm into this area. And that was a really key addition because what it did is it gave good telecom access to all of this island out here now. So now all of the spaces over in the old Northeast and Island View Park and on into South Pass Isle, all the way down through Leggett's Curve and Planters Park, all have green telecom access. So that's a really good addition into this space. Making our way along, we've got our administrative building. It's our welfare office. And I extended this, this surface out here to the street, dropped in a couple of additional fountains as well, and then framed up with planter boxes, just to make it a little bit more of a welcome approach as you're coming in from street side over here. Again, some more low rent housing kind of tucked down into this corner, right at the base of this very busy couplet road here and kind of tucked into this, this corner as well. So I think that's a, that's a good spot. Now we transition along here and make our way to some of our row homes down in here. And you can see these European style row homes. Some of them are starting to upgrade to their final look. And I'm already liking the look of that. I think this is just gonna be a really elegant little style of, of homes that are gonna make their way down along this. This is Chestnut Street, I believe. And it's gonna add just a, a, a super quaint decorative element. You've got some more of these European style waterfront houses. And as you recall in the time lapse, this triggered the uh, availability of our golfer's villa, and that's gonna be used in a future build. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because we're gonna do a little spoiler on that. And uh, so you've got this nice big row of European style row homes that comes around to this corner and, and converts into North American style row homes here. But at the corner, I dropped in yet another building here, the signature building, which is the Vertigo Square Tower in here. And this adds bonuses to everybody's well-being uh, you know, within a, with a, within a certain radius. So I think this is going to be a nice component. And maybe what it represents is a neighborhood that's in transition uh, from this North American style into something a little bit more upscale that might make its way down along here in the future. All right, that looks great. Again, some more of the European style waterfront housing uh, down in this neighborhood here. And then I'm going to take you down along the shore where we continued to build out that EU waterfront style housing all along the shore. And we've got that snaky, windy shorefront road here that makes its way down here. I really populated this in with some scrabble and some scrub and some shrubs and some trees just to kind of give it a little bit more of a rustic feel here. These homes are starting to fill in nicely and look at how big they are. They're just going to be spectacular with, again, views out towards Ocean's Gate. Just fantastic. I dropped in a mix of North American style and European style row homes in behind it too, just for that little pop of height, just to give it a little bit of a framing and definition there. And then of course, we make our way to our top five design element. Yes, which is the beach itself, Vesper Beach. <laughs> yeah, this, is, uh, this one turned out really, really great. And I love it because we have all these little props now we can start to decorate things in. I wanted to make it look busy, but not overly crowded. All right, so let's jump back down in here. What I want to show you real quick like is at each of the entrances, I conveniently placed some food and some restrooms. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, that as people are coming and going to the beach, they've got a little bite to eat. Maybe they need to use a restroom. Maybe they just need to change. We've got some hammocks in here and these manicured lawns in behind here with a couple of soccer goals so the kiddos can play. And then you can see I've got a whole series of uh, sun beds out here. Maybe, um, you know, uh, just some places to come in and catch some rays and get a little tan. And then you can see more food and more restrooms down along here. As I back out a little bit, I want you to take a look at these, these little sandboxes. I've got one there. I've got a couple more over here. And I've repurposed those really to be fire pits. I thought, you know, a fire pit on the beach, well, that's a, that's a lovely thing to do is just have a nice little fire and hang out and in the evening and, and just uh, enjoy your favorite uh, beverage and watch the uh, waves come in. We've got some hot dog vendors and benches making their way through the area. Again, more sun beds with some umbrellas here. So if you're more inclined to get sun, you can. If you want to sit in the shade, you can do that as well. Dropped in a few more hammocks down here along the path as well. And then as you continue along, I actually dropped in some of these little uh, hanging chairs as well. A great place to read a book, just hang out, 
relax and enjoy the um, you know the fresh sea breezes. Now, down in here, I added this little paver area with a little food stall down in here with a couple of tables and chairs and just a nice place to grab a snack while you're hanging out at the beach. And then down in here, we've got a kiddos play space with some more soccer goals down in here and some hammocks and again, some more food vendors here and then, of course, some more chairs that are arranged in this fan pattern here that kind of mirrors what's going on in the beach. So there you go, Vesper Beach. A wonderful place to come out, catch some rays, relax, enjoy the day, and, and visit with your neighbors. All right, well, that's going to wrap up today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a lot of fun for me to, to, to build. But you're going to want to sit tight because you're not going to want to miss the cinematics at the end. And as we mentioned in the intro, we're going to include some spoilers for our, some, some of our upcoming episodes. So be sure to watch all the way to the end. Now, just as a reminder, this channel is nothing without you, the wonderful viewers. And so if you saw something that you really liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. Really love hearing from you. And also the engagement helps with the algorithm to distribute our content to a wider audience, which helps us grow and helps us keep improving. A big shout out and special thank you to all of our members, both here and on our Patreon site. Your generosity is much appreciated. And also while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. Well, okay, with that, I'm going to bid you guys and gals a fond farewell. And remember, sit tight and watch all the way to the end. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>